to my 100 subscriber setup tour and in this episode I'll be reviewing my setup, showing you guys my setup and I just want to thank you guys for 100 subscribers on my channel. What my channel is, basically the opinions are a bit mixed, some people like it, some people don't. Well, yeah that's alright, honestly I want you guys to keep saying like whether you like it or not because I'll always attempt to improve it. My channel is not the best obviously. And there is some things that aren't possible on my channel to do, but I will always try for you guys. And also, we'll just be looking at my setup, so yeah, and let's start with the setup. Okay, so over here guys, this is my setup, as you can see. And we're going to first start off with the monitors. This is my first monitor, which is my Polaroid one. Now, this is a okay monitor, I'd say. It's not the best because... Well, it does have 1080p video, but also it's not the best quality though. It, it just looks a bit bad, honestly, so that's why I don't... So I really use this one for my Xboxes and my consoles. That's the monitor I look at my gaming consoles on. And, um, yeah, so this was the worst monitor out of them both. And the next monitor I have is my Acer monitor, which is, which is pretty good actually. It's got really high quality... 1080p it's really good for PCs it's a PC monitor which is meant to be used on your PC obviously and um, but the back the downside for this is it has no audio so for that I like to use my headphones which are right down here so these are the things that I use to listen to all my PC audio through because this doesn't come with any audio speakers so I listen to everything from my headset which is a Razer Kraken Pro and it's got 7.1 surround audio and it's basically work on Xbox, PS4, PC, your phone, that sort of thing. And yeah, this is really good. I would recommend this because it is a nice headset. And on top of my monitor, I have my webcam, which is a Logitech C920 Pro. And it is really good. It has 1080p video. And it's just one of the best webcams that I think, in my opinion, the best budget web webcam. It's obviously not going to be the best, but still. I would recommend this to anybody who is um, looking for anything to record their first with on YouTube. And it is, um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good one. So, moving on, we are going to take a look at my consoles. Now, on top of my Xbox One, I have my Xbox 360. And these, I do have a PS4 as well, but someone's borrowing that, my brother is. And as you can see, I've got my Xbox One down here, and my Xbox 360. And these are plugged in, well, one of them at least is plugged into the monitor up there. And behind it, I have my um, wires. And somewhere down there will be my Elgato. And my wires are just a mess, guys. They're just really terrible, honestly. I mean, I need to make my setup look a lot more neater, <laughs> but it, right now it's just a total mess. And my Elgato's sat down there somewhere, my Xbox plugs, my phone charger's down here as well, so yeah. Okay, so moving on now, we have the Blue Yeti microphone, and this is the microphone that I really use to record my voice with. And what I use this for is, it's just really good honestly. It was £100, but... It's not going to be the best microphone you can get, but it's still a high quality one, which I would recommend if you're looking for a good mic that can record your voice. As you can see, by pressing this button, you can like mute it or like make it like play, and you got the volume switch down here, and behind it you've got the gain controls and stuff. So you've got like the gain switch. And you've also got the pattern controls and all, and that is really good for my microphone. It really helps for whatever type of recordings you're going to do. And up next, I have my gaming keyboard, which is a Razer Deathstalker. And I think this is a 2014 one, but it's still, it's still a good keyboard, but not that many people use it anymore. And it is really good. I think I picked this up for £40 when I was building my PC. And it's really good. And next up I have my Razer Abasus 1200 mouse. And it's really good. 
I got this with my keyboard obviously and it's very it's, it's cheap but actually gets the job done but it's not something expensive and what it's sitting on is uh, well a mouse mat a razor mouse mat and it came with my mouse and all which is really good and it really feels very comfortable when you're when you're trying to move your mouse on it and that sort of thing so up next we have the big boy of my setup which is the gaming PC now it is it did cost me 600 pound but it's not the best gaming PC you can get but it does get the job done and it is great it can play some games on like high settings but not all of them if you know what I mean and you've got like um, well my external hard drives on top of it and yeah and I'll read the specs off for you so it's got an i5 4690k 3.5 gigahertz processor with four cores and that's an intel cpu and it's got for the graphics card it's got a gtx 960 4 gigabyte and it's an msi one and it's also got a motherboard well the motherboard i've got is an asus h8 1m plus which is really good and i've got eight gigabytes of ddr3 corsair vengeance ram and I've got 430 watts power supply and that is really good for me because I don't really need that much power in my PC and I've got two hard drives and the hard drives that I use are one terabyte and four terabyte ones and altogether it's up to five terabytes and I need them because I kind of ran out of space when I got my one terabyte hard drive so last Christmas I got my four terabyte one which is pretty good and I'm going to be using my 4 terabyte one for all my recordings stuff like that and all the stickers that I got with the products like some of them came with stickers I wish to come on my PC for no reason like I was I was a bit bored when I was doing it but I've got Razer stickers up here and all that and so you've got like number one in gaming MSI that sort of thing yeah and it, I really do like my PC and I might be upgrading but yeah, so I'll just take a look at the cable management behind my PC. It's still pretty bad, like the cable management, like it's all over the place, that sort of thing. Like, I can't really manage cables for my life, so that's just how terrible I am at doing stuff like this. So, yeah, so moving on now, we have my games. Now, my games are, well, I keep all my Xbox 360 and Xbox One games in here. And I've got, well, I don't keep my PC games in here because I do download my PC games. No one really buys physical copies of PC games anymore, really, so they're all on my PC. And down here I have my Kinect, which I don't really use. Kinect's just really terrible. I don't play console as much as I do PC. Hey guys, and next up we have, up here we have my controllers. So in here I have this PS3 controller and I don't really have PS3 anymore but when I was selling my PC for some reason I forgot to sell this and I just left it here lying around. So yeah I just have this here randomly. And I have my Xbox One and 360 controllers as well as some chargers and TV remotes and all that sort of stuff. And yeah it is getting quite dark in here. Let me just turn on the light. And also we have, um, in the, in this part, we have, well, basically my headset, my Xbox 360, and some other stuff that I use, like pencils and all that. So, um, yeah, that's all that's really to showcase about my setup. It's not big, obviously. But the one last thing I want to talk about is um, my gaming chair. Now, honestly... It's not really a gaming chair, I mean, why did I just call it a gaming chair? But, really, this is just a chair that I use to sit down on. I don't really see need in a gaming chair. I sh don't really see why I should bother getting one. I'm alright with this, I don't need to have some speakers on the back of my chair, do I, for, for games. But, yeah, I just I sit on this pillow, it's a bit comfy to just sit on this pillow when I'm playing on the game. And, yeah. So that's all I really have to showcase about my channel. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's setup tour. Really, 
thank you for 100, 100 subscribers guys it's just been great and i'll always try to keep you up on content and try to improve it a bit make it a lot better because people have been saying that some of it's getting a bit bad but i will try and make it more interesting and i will see you all in the next video guys peace out <laughs>